Twin Starliner spacecraft is set to return to Earth this weekend, minus those two astronauts who took it to the International Space Station. NASA has decided putting the pair back on board was simply too risky. Jason Miles is at the Johnson Space Center. What are NASA officials saying about this return trip, Jason? Well, everything is on track for now, and officials here at NASA insist these astronauts are not stranded since they do have a way home eventually. Cardboard cutouts of astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams stand at the entrance of JSC's Building 2 North. Um, it has been a really busy and challenging summer. Where NASA officials updated the plan to bring their spacecraft back to Earth without them. And I want to extend my sincerest appreciation to, to all the team members who have worked so hard. Boeing's Starliner will undock Friday evening before landing in New Mexico around midnight Saturday, unmanned after NASA decided thruster and other issues created too many potential problems. If for some reason the joint team decides not to undock on Friday, we have undocking opportunities on several later days, all of which are subject to weather constraints. Wilmore and Williams launched in June for what was supposed to have been a week-long test flight. Now they'll end up spending eight months on the International Space Station before returning home next February on a SpaceX flight. They've transitioned from their role as Starliner test pilots and now they're part of the expedition working day in and day out. As of last week, the pair had over 100 hours between them helping on board the ISS with science and research. Wilmore's family previously speaking about his unplanned stay in space. He loves being with us because we are very close and he is missing out on a few things, but he knows it's in God's plan. NASA says both astronauts are trained to handle hiccups like this and are fully engaged with loved ones and colleagues, even from so far away. And a recent meeting between NASA officials and Boeing over bringing an empty cas capsule back to Earth was said to be heated and reported that way. Uh, officials here were asked about that. They disputed it was heated, but admitted to tension between both parties given the gravity of this situation. Reporting live from JSC, Jason Miles, KHOU 11 News. And so the Starliner saga continues. Jason Miles, thank you. What a saga. Well